Because of the large number of enemy drones, our sappers have switched to remote mining from the air and with ground drones. We mine every day. We make as many mines as possible so that the area around us is impassable. The last time this vehicle went out, it was hit by two drops. It came back with a few holes, but it made it back on its own. Furik, the youngest in the sapper unit, joined after his mandatory service. Now he operates a drone and delivers supplies to the guys along the logistics route so they can survive. And it's often tough because sometimes it just won't go. Sometimes you end up carrying it yourself, dragging the drone along, two in one. The weather doesn't always cooperate. You get used to fear, you get used to everything. Ground drones have become logisticians. Covering long distances in bad weather or heat with baggage is now almost impossible for infantrymen because enemy drones are also hunting them from the sky. On one of our runs, we delivered 200 kilograms of supplies alone. That means water, food and everything else. Plus, there were also some munitions. So we deliver everything to the position and roughly speaking, people at the position can forget about everything else for a week. A human life is worth more than metal, say the sappers. That's why they're looking for funds to buy more of these machines. After all, in a short time, these ground drones have managed to save the lives of wounded soldiers without putting evacuation teams at risk. During all the time we've been using them, which actually hasn't been that long, we've evacuated 20 people from the battlefield. That's just the wounded and probably more than 25 were killed. The enemy is actively hunting our ground robotic systems. It's a high value target and destroying it disrupts our logistics. Now they have a new tactic. If before they would track where you are going and just strike along the road, now they wait until you reach the position and only then do they start targeting it. Ground drones like ants are constantly moving along the front line. A lot now depends on them. And most importantly, they save the lives of infantry who have been sitting in the trenches on the front line for months. After all, getting in and out of a position is the hardest and most dangerous part. Of course, it's the fourth year of the war and everyone is very tired, especially the guys who are sitting in the trenches. Some of them don't leave for three months at a time. They go in there healthy, but come out thin, exhausted and drained of all strength. That's exactly why these drones are needed, so at least they don't have to deny themselves food. The guys repair them themselves. They get them back in working order after a combat mission and send them out to the front again without any rest. Because they know the infantry needs ammo and food.